Fourth of July is right around the corner, but if you want that barbecue taste all year round, then you need to try the Pan Grill It. I'm joined this morning by Scott Lewis, the owner of Pan Grill It. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so what exactly is the Pan Grill It and where did this idea come from? Well, the Pan Grill It is a cast iron preseason barbecue grill insert designed to fit into a 12 inch skillet. Okay. Um, the whole idea and how it came about is my Father and I had some friends and family over and uh, the propane tank ran out. It was one of the coldest days of the year in January. Mm -hmm. uh, the only alternative was to simply put the food into the oven and it was, the outcome was so poor that we kind of scratched our heads and looked at each other and said, there's gotta be a way to grill indoors without smoking the house up um, and do it healthy. Yeah, so what makes it healthy? I mean, here, is it, here it is right here. I just wanna you know, show everyone. So what, how does it make the food healthy? Well, I mean. the, the chicken itself and everything has got some lift. And on the back here, you can see the, this is the grease channel. Okay. So any of the grease, any stove is not level, so that grease is gonna migrate to the outer banks. Mm -hmm. And this little bevel here gives it that little bit of lift because every pan comes up mm -hmm. so that grease will disperse. So the food is not actually cooking and saturating in its own fat. For example, if you have bacon with like a turkey burger, it's just, um, it's cooking it very clean. Wow. But more importantly, Cooking with cast iron puts iron into your diet. And it's not severe, it's in very incremental amounts, but it's enough to make it healthy. And women especially need more iron in their diet. Uh, if you cook with it every day, it's not gonna be overindulgence. Mm -hmm. It's just, again, very incremental. All right, so what are you making here this morning? Okay, we have marinated chicken, herb, and garlic. Okay. And with some grilled green peppers. And this is a, a griddle, and this is a skillet. Okay, so you need the you need the skillet basically, right? Correct. Okay, so go ahead and you're gonna put it all together. Absolutely. Okay. Now you were talking to me too. Clean up. I know we're not there yet, but clean up. You don't put this in the dishwasher. I would think that after you're done cooking, you throw everything in the dishwasher. You don't do that. No, not at all. Um, the seasoning that's on there, um, any kind of like a harsh detergents and soaps, breaks mm -hmm. it down. And so cleanup, there's been a misconception over the years that cast iron needs to be clean. Mm -hmm. And in fact, it doesn't. It just, these little guys here, these little acrylic scrubbers, okay. um, cleans the pan grill it wonderfully. And uh, there's, everybody has different theories and ways on how they go about actually cleaning the skillet itself. Um, there's a lot of different varieties of ways. Um, water is the enemy of cast iron. So mm -hmm. you definitely want to stay away from anything water. All right, so you have a little wrap. Yeah, I have a five cheese blend, and instead of lettuce, we're gonna use spinach. Okay. And then we have uh, kind of a Tex-Mex salsa that we're gonna add in there as well. All right. So I'm gonna Perfect. go ahead and cut this up and... Go ahead, do your thing. So this is great for campers, if you're tailgating. I mean, any of those situations sometimes that you don't really have a barbecue handy, correct? Well, yeah, absolutely, and you know, a, Condo dwellers, apartment dwellers, I mean, you can't barbecue. There's so many restrictions, and this is a great way to do it. All right, and most importantly, where can people find it at? They can find it at Hiller's Markets. Um, it's in five of the seven stores and also online as well on my website. Okay. It's uh, three words. It's pangrillit.com. So do you have any other recipes that you like to work with? I do. One of my favorites, I'm glad you asked, is marble rye. Mm -hmm. and basically make French toast, and you spin a little bit of cinnamon in with it. Oh, wow. And you put some Granny Greensmith apples down and you sprinkle them with cinnamon. Mm-hmm. And then you lightly coat it with some powdered sugar, and it makes wonderful French toast. So what's your future with this? Do you think you might want to put out a recipe book in the future? Yeah, absolutely. I get asked that quite a bit on the website. People want some fresh ideas and specifically things that they can cook only with the pan grill it. Well, perfect. All right. Well, you definitely have to check it out. And again, like I said, we'll put all the information on our website at myfoxdetroit.com. He's rushing to put it together. But we'll get a final shot of it.